So apparently, this particular writer for the USA Today, the states will eventually abolish the Electoral College. Here's why and how. We're going to get rid of the Electoral College, but it won't be by way of Congress. Well, no, to get rid of the Electoral College, you're going to have to pass a constitutional amendment, which will require Congress, the Senate, and three-quarters of the states. Just not for nothing. Which, you're never going to get that many states to agree to having New York, L.A., and Chicago determine the goddamn election. Elections like were, were ugh. Elections like the one we're involved in and several others in the recent past will cause us to come to our senses and do away with an unfair, outdated, undemocratic political dinosaur. Well, we are the United States. We are not the United Peoples of America. Uh, Nevada lawmakers passed a bill meant to guarantee that all votes cast by its citizens in a presidential election actually count. This doesn't happen in Arizona or plenty of other states. There's a movement to make it happen nationwide. Nevada's the 15th saint to, to join it. The bill would have agreed to give all the electoral votes to the candidate who wins the popular vote. It was vetoed by the governor, basically. Uh, this will change in time. No, it won't. Immediately, it is going to, there are going to be the other states that don't want it and all 14 of these, by the way, always go to the Democrats anyway. You're going to have every other state that doesn't agree to it, either A, secede from the Union, or B, sue it, and it will get ruled unconstitutional immediately. If enough uh, states pass such le legislation, the anti-democratic vestige of slavery, oh my god, really? Known as the Electoral College, you know that Electoral College fucking elected a black dude to the to the presidency. An organization called the National Popular Vote is out to eliminate the Electoral College without tampering with the Constitution. Good luck. You're, this is not going to happen. It's going to get challenged immediately in court. SCOTUS is going to rip it the fuck up. Whether you like it or not. I mean, just kind of get ready for it. 14 states in the District of Columbia have committed to the cause. When enough states uh, join to reach 270, the past bills from all the states will kick in and guarantee the candidate with the popular vote basically will become president. And as it should be. Okay, yeah, he tweeted it, but maybe he changed his mind. Um, Why was the... I, I don't really... The reason is... The reason the Electoral College was created was so that every group of people in every state would have a spot at the table. If they had went with a popular vote, Virginia would have controlled everything. Virginia would have had the, had the ability to tell New Hampshire, for example, what to do. The founders didn't want that. So, just not for nothing... Marginalizing most states, the popular vote would eliminate the false premise the Electoral College was meant to protect small states. It is! It's designed to prevent the tyranny of the majority. You know? Entire campaigns run around a couple of states, and okay, then you go from a couple of states being the battleground states, to a couple of cities. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. Uh, 
Um, he's a columnist that writes for the Arizona Republic. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, Yahoo isn't doing comments anymore. Here's what will happen. Let's say by some minor miracle, they get enough states to go along with this. I don't think they will. Here's what will happen. Every state that is not on the list will sue them in court. This will go to SCOTUS, and SCOTUS will say, you cannot do this. This law, this compact, is unconstitutional. You want to get rid of the Electoral College, you have one way to do it. You have to pass a constitutional amendment. And you are never going to garner enough support to pull that off. It's just not going to happen. So anyway, that wraps up this one.